So many of us look to the moon and this Sunday the moon is going to give us something special back a total lunar eclipse. Well, I'm here to talk more about this weekend's moon and why it's so special and the ongoing effort to return humans to the moon is NASA scientist Michelle Tuller. Thank you so much for coming on today. We appreciate it. Oh, it's great to be here. And, and as you said, this weekend we're in for this wonderful natural show. You don't need any special equipment. You don't need a telescope. You're just going to see the full moon go dark. And that is wonderful. So get ready for a total lunar eclipse. And apparently uh, the, there's going to be some color involved. Uh, I'm told that we're going to see some red. Why is that? Yeah. So what happens during a lunar eclipse is that everything is lined up just right. So the moon is actually going to move into the shadow of the Earth. The Earth is going to block out the sunlight. And you think the moon would just go dark when that happens. But what happens is that some sunlight actually bends through the atmosphere of the Earth. And just like what happens during a sunrise or a sunset, what goes on is that blue light is more easily scattered away. And orange and reddish light can go more directly through the Earth's atmosphere. So the only light getting up to the moon at that point is this orange colored light. And so the moon will look sort of coppery or rosy red. And uh, it's, it's wonderful. And it's in the Chicago area, this will be happening a little bit after 11 p.m. Sunday night. How often does something like this happen where you're able to see this? Um, I know this is exciting for you all, but a lot of the average folks, you know, they, they're not aware of how often this happens. Well, I mean, we, we, we usually do get a couple of eclipses a year. This is the first one for the year 2022. And, uh, and so uh, it's not that they are tremendously uncommon, but they are always wonderful. And uh, I know here I'm on the east coast of the United States. We're worrying about the weather a little bit. So hopefully you guys have a good chance to see the moon. The, the thing that's worth mentioning is that this isn't just one instant. This goes on for a long time. So it's actually going to be starting so in, Chicago, in the Chicago area a little bit after 9 p.m. And, uh, and then it will be, uh, like I said, the height of it where it looks most red a little bit after 11. But then it will continue for a couple of hours after that. So as long as you get a break in the clouds in that sort of four-hour time, you can at least see some of the shadow on the moon. I have to admit, I, I am a full-blown NASA nerd, and I have been watching with great anticipation Artemis, <laughs> the massive scope of Artemis, the goal to get people back on the moon, men and women alike. Where are we with the program? Well, the, the thing is, we're going to start seeing a lot of exciting things happening very soon. And uh, the first thing you'll see starting late this year and into next year are some amazing robotic explorers that are paving the way for humans to come after that. So there is a rover we're launching called the Viper. Uh, Viper will be looking for resources on the moon that maybe someday astronauts can use and the, the history of how the moon got those resources. And then we have this exciting collaboration with the commercial space industry. There are many different companies that will actually be chosen to deliver more than 40 instruments to the moon, scientific instruments, instruments to, to actually you know, look at how astronauts can live there. And so all of that is going to start ramping up in the next year or two. You know, and then comes the big event, actually bringing humans back to the moon for a sustained presence at the south pole of the moon. And that will include the first woman and the first person of color on that first crew. And I'm, I'm very excited about that. Like Pavlov's dog, Anita, I am salivating as she's describing all the cool <laughs> stuff that is to come. Thank you, Michelle Teller. Appreciate it.